Hello, welcome back to my Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. In today's episode of Fusion Fortnite, I'm going to be taking you all the way to Brisbane, uh, located in Queensland, and we're going to go up and have a look at the Alfex CNC Haas Open Day. In Australia, Haas machines are sold exclusively through um, Alfex CNC. And uh, I've been lucky in my time in education that I've actually purchased three Haas machines and I'm uh, very happy with them. Uh, I love the Haas movement as well as, as you know, the Autodesk and Fusion 360 movement. Now one of the other reasons I went up there is because my good friends from CAD Pro, um, Scott Moyes, who is an uh, Autodesk elite, and Gavin as well, Gavin uh, Bath, he's, they're both flown over from New Zealand to uh, promote Inventor and HSM as well. Now I thought this would be a, a fitting video today with the Fusion Fortnightly theme because as you know, the CAD that lives inside uh, Fusion really uses the HSM kernel, so it's very close to HSM. Um, and I've previously used HSM, so anyway, without further ado, let's get, let's get on to it and I'm going to hand you over to Scott and let's have a look what we're doing up there and what he's going to do and he'll walk you through it. So stay with me, I promise you it'll be a good video. Hi, Scott Moyes here and Gavin Bath from CAD Pro Systems in, uh, in New Zealand. We're the, um, the distributors and technical resource for the Autodesk HSM products in both Australia and New Zealand. And we work with a number of resellers in Australia um, to distribute uh, product through, through the country. Um, so we're here today at the Haas facility in Brisbane for their open day. We've got three different machines out here with programs running on all of them. And um, we've got two components here. Um, Gavin's got one as well. Um, that we're running on a VF4SS with a HRC210 rotary, high-speed rotary table. So this particular component here was machined in HSM Works for SolidWorks and Gavin's component was machined and programmed using Inventor HSM. Um, so I'll just talk to you quickly about this component here. This was machined in three operations. Um, so the first side um, was machined here. We did the machine the bore and drilled the holes for some dowel pins for referencing later. Put a dowel pin in put it face down and then machine the top face, um, tolerance the bore, machine these slots in the face here, these radial slots. Then we take, take it off and put it onto a mandrill on the fourth axis. For those who don't know what a mandrill is, uh, it's just a, sh a tolerance shaft that's rigid that we can clamp this onto. From there then we, can, um, we machine these um, radial open pockets and slots on the outside of the part while the part's turning on the fourth. Um, which exposes these faces here and some sharp edges which we can then deburr using a 90 degree angle head so the tool comes in horizontally and cleans up all of those edges. So um, this is really pleased with the result and um, Gavin can talk now about a bit about this component here that he's got. So this part here is a cover plate for an engine block and it's basically a two operation part. We're starting with the billet in the vise uh, using the um, probing cycles in Inventor HSM to pick up on the outsides of the stock and then performing all the 2D roughing and finishing uh, on this side um, with the swift carbs. Um, one of the clever tricks that we're using with this part is we're using in-process probing to come down and measure the bore um, on the Haas control and then that automatically adjusts a wear offset uh, based on the, the target value that we're, we're looking for um, it'll then re -come, uh, come down again and remachine the inside of that um, bore to bring it out to, to within spec. Uh, following that, we take the part out of the vise. Um, handy little feature is that using the M130 codes on the new generation Haas control, uh, we'll actually play a video on the, the control which shows the operator how to lift the part out, rotate it and drop it back in. So there's no confusion as to orientation. Um, once that's done and he hits cycle start, we come down with a ramp mill, rough the top of the um, part and then come back with a ball nose and finish um, the top surface. One other thing we're doing there is to, because the, the part's an unusual shape, uh, on the second operation uh, we're using probing again to come down and pick up the location to align the program. So that's all um, automatically controlled uh, on the, the um, sensing control. So very easy um, to do two setups like that, uh, no manual measuring or touch offs or anything like that. It's very um, quick and efficient to, to get that done. All right, cheers Gav. Oh, well thanks for tuning in today and uh, if you've got any questions you can get in touch with us via uh, cadpro.co.nz. Um, yeah, cheers for tuning in.
Talk soon, bye.
Well, that concludes today's video. Um, hopefully you found it interesting, and like always, if you uh, would like to ask further comments for myself or Scott, uh, by all means, post a comment below. Um, I do apologise, I haven't been uploading regularly uh, recently. The Fusion Fortnightly series was going really great, and I was uploading uh, once a week or once a fortnight. Uh, that, uh, that all stopped, and if you're one of my subscribers, you're probably wondering where have I been. Uh, the reason was, uh, unfortunately, I got diagnosed with thyroid cancer. So I've been in hospital and, uh, you know, in and out of hospital for weeks now, and I've had a surgery, and, but the good news is I'm on the men, guys, so, yep, I'll still be around to annoy you for a few more videos yet. In closing, I'm going to put in a little bit of flight footage where I flew regional. Uh, so a lot of, I have a lot of family in Queensland, so after the event, I went and visited them, and then I caught a regional flight from a little country town in New South Wales called Moree, all the way to Sydney, then from Sydney back to Melbourne. So I'll put a bit of flight footage in for you. Who knows? You're welcome to watch it or don't watch it. Take care, guys. Be good to yourself, and most importantly, be safe around equipment. Thank you. See you next time.